Sir, please unmute your microphone, sir. Oh, come Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, but uh, I didn't realize my microphone is being muted. All right. It's okay, so sir. I, let me start sir. all over again. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are joining us from. All right. Please bear with me if my voice doesn't sound that good, but uh, I'm really feeling under the weather today. Anyway, welcome to another episode of Free International Webinar brought to you by the Institute of Global Professionals or IGP. And we are pleased to have you join us for the 523rd episode of our daily webinar and for taking part in tonight's or today's session. And we are coming to you live via StreamYard on Facebook and YouTube platform. Thank you, all folks, for finding time and attending tonight's or today's program. We hope you will enjoy the program tonight. And if you do, please let us know. If we are just meeting, my name is Gafor in Panimbang, an assistant professor four from Adyong Memorial Polytechnic State College here in Lanao del Sur, Philippines, and a proud member of the Institute of Global Professionals, which is sponsoring this webinar series. And I am so privileged to be your host for tonight's episode. The Institute of Global Professionals, or IGP, is an ISO certified compliant training institute and a globally recognized multi-awarded international professional organization. We are a non-profit training institute dedicated to making it possible to anyone to learn anything and anywhere for free online at any subject level. Here in IGP, we provide free online and offline learning platforms for education and skills training for students and professionals like you backed by international speakers, coaches, and leading experts from all over the world. True to our mantra, feed your skill. It is our mission to empower people by providing an overall learning experience that meets your needs and helps you to achieve life goals. We believe that free education, more than anything, has the power to break through boundaries and transform lives. All right. So as of this moment, guys, uh, we regret to inform you that uh, our speaker for tonight could not join us for some very important reasons. All right. So uh, which we understand. So uh, what would happen for tonight is uh, we are going to proceed with our uh, usual online quiz game competition, all right, as uh, mandated by uh, the Institute of Global Professionals. Our speaker for tonight should uh, actually, uh, she's supposed to deliver a topic on uh, uh, gamification for educators, but as I was saying earlier, due to some unavoidable circumstances that made her unable to join us for tonight's webinar, all right? Uh, her name is uh, Mom Samiha Jamal Mahmoud Mahdi, a, uh, one of the great speakers actually from Palestine. And uh, she's supposed to deliver a topic on uh, uh, gamification for educators for those uh, teachers, educators out there who would like to improve their learning process by integrating uh, uh, a game in their classroom to make their students more engaging, all right? So join us on our exciting and interactive online quiz game competition, all right, which is happening right now. And for those who would like to join with the online quiz game as player, 
all right? All you have to do, guys, is you simply go to slido.com using your own device and browser. And once you get there, you will see a window asking you to type in the event code. Just simply type in the event code and press enter. Or better yet, scan the quiz code that I think we're not displaying on the screen for fast access. And pretty much, you're good to go. All right? So, uh, okay, so uh, let me check if uh, the quiz code is being shown to the screen for our live audience to have it uh, copy and paste to the window in the Slido uh, dashboard or uh, page, all right? All right, are we good? Are we still good? All right, so uh, we now come to the online quiz game competition for tonight's session. And this is going to be open for all our live audience tonight who wish to join. As of now, we still have a few participants coming in. So I think we're going to um, uh, give them a minute or two for them to be able to join. And uh, in a few minutes, I think, we are going to start with our online quiz game competition for tonight's session. Again, we regret to inform everyone that our invited speaker, who will be coming all the way from Palestine, could not join us for some very important reasons. All right? So please bear with us. But still, we have to uh, continue with our online quiz game competition, which is one of the highlights of uh, our daily webinar all right so let me check our dashboard all right so uh, alex Xavier alvarez one of our i would say loyal lists here in igp is again joining us for tonight's online quiz game competition we have mom veneranda a jordan shout out also to mom mary day bayeta all right Okay, as of this moment, we have we still have 22 participants who were able to join for tonight's online quiz game competition. Okay, allow me to say hi to Kyla Exconde, Lia Facunla, Kiefer Rivera, Jerome B. Arevalo, Ricky Colema, Cristina del Rosario, Ramonita. Zalazar, me and Kate Villanueva, all right. We have Mam Rosi Yosores, all right. Crespiniano Di Candido, all right. Saraswati Gurong, all right. So uh, as of this moment, we have uh, 27 participants who managed to join with our online quiz game competition. Okay, Evelyn Wap Wapiri, okay, one, one of the loyalists also of IGP, all right. It's really a pleasure to know, guys, that you are always there supporting us. And so uh, for that reason, we really would like to extend on behalf of IGP our, uh, our appreciation and, uh, and uh, uh, 
uh, yes, for making us part of your night and day. All right. All right. Uh, we have uh, Rian June calling and uh, who else? Okay. Amy Trina Garcia. All right. For those who are just joining in or for those who are just uh, tuning in, okay, kindly please uh, uh, go to slido.com, all right, or better yet, scan uh, the, the QR code that's been displayed on the, I think, the left part of the screen, all right, for, for easy and fast access for you to be able to join with our uh, online quiz game competition for tonight all right so as of now we already have 33 participants joining in for tonight's online quiz game competition all right we have mariel catalia all right uh who else uh who else all right uh, did I mention Pamela Gonzalvo? I think I did not. All right. Welcome to IGP's online quiz game competition. All right. We have uh, John Cedric Dalisai. All right. Okay. As of now, we have we already have 34 participants joining in for tonight's online quiz game competition. So brace yourself, guys, because in just a few minutes, we are about to start with our online quiz game competition. Okay, so after this competition, lucky top 10 players who would have the uh, most correct answers and fastest response will receive a certificate courtesy of, of course, the Institute of Global Professionals. All right. And after this competition, kindly please check the link down below the comment section for you to get access to the page where you can download your e-certificate for tonight's uh, online quiz game competition. All right. Still, we have 34 number of participants who are able to join. Okay as of this moment do we have new name here <laughs> all right for those who are just joining in the moment you have successfully joined in the competition your name will uh, will automatically appear on the screen all right that's an indicator that you have successfully joined for tonight's online quiz game competition so i think we are about to start, so brace yourself, guys. First question. Examples of gamification would be, is it 3D game lab or craft? All right. Make sure that you can submit your answer as fast as you can because that's how Slido would rank you. All right. So... Time is up, and majority of our respondents said it's 3D Game Lab. Game Lab. 76% of our live audience or participants uh, said it's 3D, 3, 3D Game Lab. And let's find out. Yes, it, sorry. The correct answer is it's 3D Game Lab. Okay. And majority of our respondents or should I say participants? Got the correct answer. For the first question, we have Sherilyn Callejo Yamaguchi on being the top scorer or a participant who was able to submit her answer in just a matter of four seconds. All right. Followed by uh, Rosie Yosores. Okay. Leah Facunla. Evelyn P. Wapiri and Jemeline V. Rivera. All right. Congratulations. That is just the first question. Now let's proceed with the second question. It says, according to the photo, 
gamification can be intriguing for up to what percentage of Americans? Is it 100% or 58%? All right. Just make an educated guess, guys, because for sure you will get the correct answer. Slido, please show us the correct answer. All right. And here we go. It's 58%. Okay. 51% of our participants for tonight's online quiz game competition got the correct answer. Congratulations, guys. All right. Okay. This time it's Rian June calling who is on the top of our list. All right, followed by Aimi Trina Garcia. All right, Raisa Di Suntiliano on the third spot. And we have Ricky Colema on the fourth spot, followed by Pamela B. Gonzalo on the fifth spot. Okay, that is just the uh, uh, first and second questions for tonight's quiz game competition. Let's proceed now with the third question. It says, gamification is defined as is it the idea of adding game elements to a non-game situation or the use of games to enhance the learning experience? All right. Okay. All right. Time is running fast. And here we go. Time is up. And majority of you guys said it's the use of games. Unfortunately, the correct answer is the idea of adding game elements to a non-game situation. 19% of our participants got the correct answer. All right. So uh, still, Rian June calling was able to maintain his spot being the number one on the, top, on, the, on the top of our list. All right. Followed by Raisa Di Sontiliano. All right. Emily M. Refugio and Ida Ramirez Martinez on the fourth spot, followed by Pamela B. Gonzalvo on the fifth spot. All right. Guys, anything can happen because that is just our third question. So we are now proceeding to the fourth question. And it says educators looking for innovative ways to engage students should incorporate. The use of blank, is it a, is it gamification or a new chalkboard? <coughs> Sorry for that. 100% of our participants said it's gamification and 100% of you guys got the correct answer. So congratulations. And let's go back to our dashboard to see who is still Brian June calling is still on the number one spot with 22 seconds, all right, spent in sending his answer, all right, followed by Raisa Di Sontiliano, okay, so we're now on the fifth question, we're halfway, it says, which is not a benefit of gamification, is it? students are punished for poor scores or educators produce more interactive material which do you think guys is the close closer which one is the closer answer between the two choices slider please show us the correct answer it's students are punished for poor scores and fortunately, majority, that's 97% of our uh, participants for tonight, were able to get the correct answer. Congratulations, guys. All right. Still, Rian June calling on the top of our list. All right. Followed by Raisa Di Suntiliano, Emily M. Refugio. Rose T. Yusores, and on the fifth spot, we have Ida Ramirez Martinez. All right. We're halfway on our quiz game competition. Let's now proceed 
to the number six question. It says, what is content gamification? Is it simulation of how to use gamification or learning objective based games through a story or challenged? Okay, time is running fast, guys. Make sure that you can submit your answer as fast as you can. Time is up and let's check which one is the correct answer. All right. The correct answer is learning objective based games through a story or challenged. And 76% or majority of our participants got the correct answer. So congratulations. You're doing a great job, guys. All right. Still, Rian June Kualing is our top scorer. All right. As of this moment, followed by Raisa Di Suntiliano, Pamila Gonsalvo, Mary Day Bayeta, okay, and Ricky R. Kulema. All right. Now let's proceed with the seventh question for tonight's online quiz game competition. What does START stand for? Is it teaching for learner differences or only relevant curriculum? All right. All right. In five, four, three, two, and one. Time is up. And Slido is now going to present to us which one is the correct answer. Let's find out. It's going to be it's teaching for learner differences. And 97% or majority of our participants got the correct answer. Congratulations. Again, you're doing a great job, guys. All right. Now let's go back to our dashboard to see. All right. Okay. Nobody, it seems that nobody can beat Rian June Quali, okay, being our top scorer for tonight's game, online game competition. All right. All right. Okay. So second to the last question, here we go with gamification is using components of gaming for learning to improve engagement for learners. Is that true or false? Four, three, two, and time is up. Now, the correct answer is true. Congratulations. All right, 100% of our participants got the correct answer. And the correct answer is true. Gamification is using components of gaming for learning to improve engagement for learners. Can we go back now to our dashboard to check Still, Brian June Calling is on the number one spot, followed by Raisa D. Sontiliano, Mary Day Bayeta, Rosy T. Yusores, and on the fifth spot, we've got Ricky Arcolema. All right. All right. We've got uh, two more questions. All right. Do not be discouraged, guys, because anything can happen. Anything can happen here. Okay, let me read the second to the last question. It says, the benefits to using gamification in education are, is it to enhance the learning environment or not engaged learners? All right. In five, four, three, two, and time is up. Slido, please show us. The correct answer and it's gonna be it's enhanced the learning environment and 100 percent of our participants were able to get the correct answer and for that reason i would say congratulations you did it guys you're doing a good job oh my it seems that nobody can beat rian june calling i think rian june calling has a very you know very good connections 
internet connection. All right. And uh, yes, we, we've got Raisa de Santiliano, Mary Day Bayeta, Rosy T. Osores, and Pamela B. Gonsalvo. And let's now proceed with the one last question. Okay, so uh, this is going to be the determining factor for the winners for tonight online quiz game competition. The question says, when was the word gamification first coined? Is it by the year 2000, 2002 or on the year 2000? Three, two, and time is up. <coughs> Excuse me for that. All right, let's check. Majority said it's 2002, and that's the correct answer, all right? So congratulations, majority of, among you guys got the correct answer, all right? And that ends our, I mean, the questions for our online quiz game competition. And this time, all right, this time the leaderboard will be showing us the final result for tonight's online quiz game competition and we would like to say congratulations oh you still have 11 questions sorry for that guys sorry for that okay for the number 11 question it says students are receptive to gamification in the classroom is that true or false yes thank you nasreen nasheha for reminding me uh we, we're not having 15 questions okay <laughs> Sorry for that. So you still have the chance, okay, to topple down our top score for tonight. All right. That's true. That's the correct answer. It's true. And 92% of our uh, participants got the correct answer. All right. All right. I can hardly wait to see the dashboard this time. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, anything can happen. Okay, this time it's Raisa Di Santiliano, who is now on our top of the list. Okay. Uh, Rian June Qualing went down one notch from the previous, uh, I mean, previous question, which he happened to be on the top of our list. Okay. Can you see now the, uh, the I mean, the, the progress? Okay, Ricky C. Kulima on the on the third spot. We have Mar Mary Day Bayeta on the fourth spot. And we have Aimee Trina Garcia on the fifth spot. All right. Okay, as I was explaining, do not get discouraged because anything can happen here. Okay, on the number 12 question, it says, in gamification learning, mainly occurs by doing. Or is gamification learning mainly of course by doing? Is it true or false? All right. Time is running fast. <laughs> okay. In five, four, three, two, and time is up. All right. The correct answer is true. All right. Majority of you guys, that's 84%, got the correct answer so congratulations okay i can't wait to see our dashboard this time okay rian g rian june calling was able to bring back his spot being the top of the list being the the number one on the list all right followed by mary day bayeta i meet trina garcia jerome b arevalo and Carmila B, Jain or Hein. All right. So we still have three questions remaining left, right? Okay. So again, brace yourself, guys. All right. Let's now proceed with the number 13 question. It says gamification in the classroom increases student what engagement or scarcity? Excuse me for All right. So we've got five, 
four, three, two, time is up. And Slido, please reveal the correct answer. Engagement, is it engagement? That's the correct answer. 100% of our live audience got the correct answer. Congratulations, all right? And let's go back again to our little board again. Brian June Kualing is now maintaining his spot being our number one on the list, followed by Mary Day Bayeta, Aimee Trina Garcia, Jerome B. Arevalo, and we've got Carmela B. Hine or Jine on the fifth spot. All right. There you go. And there you go with our second to the last question for tonight's online quiz game competition. And the question says, gamification gain their momentum in which one? Education or game? What do you think, guys? All right. So in... Okay. The correct answer is education. All right. I think that's quite obvious. 86% or majority of our participants got the correct answer. All right. So again, I'm so excited to see our dashboard leaderboard this time. Yes. Brian June calling is still on the number one spot, followed by Mary Day Bayeta, Aimee Trina Garcia, Jerome B. Arevalo, and we've got Carmela B. I think this is Hein. This is a Filipino name. We usually pronounce J as H, right? I hope I'm correct. <laughs> Correction is under your care. All right. So that means we have one last question. And here we go with the last question. Create flow. If a task is too easy, you will get bored. What is it? Is it gamification technique or gamification example? All right, in just a few seconds, we can now determine who's going to be our winner for tonight's quiz game competition. And time is up. Let's find out which one is the correct answer. It's gamification technique. All right, majority, that's 86% of our participants were able to get the correct answer. And I can hardly wait to get back to our little board to see who's going to be our winner for tonight's online quiz game competition. All right. Congratulations, Brian June, calling for uh, winning tonight's online quiz game competition. All right. Uh, get together with Aimee Trina Garcia being our uh, top two, followed by Mary Day Bayeta, okay, on the third spot. We have Jerome B. Arevalo on the fourth spot, and on the fifth spot, we have Carmela B. Hine. And as I was saying earlier, we have, we'll be awarding 10 lucky winners. And let's find out who's going to be our uh, sixth winner, we have Raisa D. Suntiliano. On the sixth spot, we have uh, Kyla X. Conde on the seventh spot. We've got Emily M. Refugio on the eighth spot. And then Alex Javier Alvarez on the ninth spot. And the last but not the least is Liesel A. Gabaldon on the tenth spot. Congratulations to all of you guys. You are all winners, all right? It just so happened that IGP will be giving away those lucky top 10 players 
who made it for tonight's online quiz game competitions. All right. Congratulations also to the top 20 winners. Uh, okay. 11, we have Roser. Uh, I mean, uh, yes. 11, Placer, we have Rosie T. Usores. On the 12th spot, we have Pamela B. Gonsalvo. 13th spot, Ricky R. Kulema. Yes. On the number 14 spot, we have Jan Cedric Dalisay. 15 spot, we have Raven M. Pacheco. And on the number 16 spot, we have Marielle Catalia. Number 17, we've got Cristina V. Del Rosario. All right. Number 18, we have Sherilyn Callejo Yamaguchi. All right. 19 spot, we have Evelyn P. Wapiri. And our number 20, uh, on, the 20 on the 20th spot, we have Leia Fakonla. All right. So again, on behalf of IGP, a way of saying congratulations for making it to the uh, online quiz game competition for tonight's webinar. All right. So I think that's all what we have for uh, tonight's uh, webinar again. Uh, please bear with us, but, uh, you know, he, he, here's a message here. It says, according to Janice Jonam, I missed first question due to logging slow into quite page. All right. That's the user problem. Uh, you're so lucky if you have these strong connections in your location because you can actually submit your answer. Okay. Uh, fastly. All right. And uh, that makes you at edge if you have this strong connection. All right. So I think if uh, if there are no further announcements from the top management, of course from IGP, and I think uh, that's all what we have for for uh, tonight's online quiz game competition. Again, uh, we really uh, you know. Uh, Owe you an apology for the unavailability of our speakers for tonight's online uh, webinar due to some, uh, you know, very important reasons, which we understand. And so for that reason, we really owe you an apology. But for sure, uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to have an available speaker. This is a, you know, everyday webinar for, uh, for you guys. Okay, this one is really uh, intended for everyone else who would like to enhance the learning, th their knowledge, okay, because we believe that education is a continuous process, okay. According to uh, our Prophet, that's Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, seek knowledge from cradle to grave, and that's a real manifestation that, you know, seeking knowledge or Seeking for education is a continuous process. It's a continuous learning. And so uh, what we're doing here is, in IGP is, you know, a, a real manifestation of that, you know, uh, a particular saying from uh, we in Muslim, uh, the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All right. So I think that's all what we have for tonight. Uh, so that means you, you, you cannot claim your certificate because we don't have speaker uh, available speaker for tonight. What you can claim this time is just, uh, especially among those lucky top 20 players, okay? So you better check the link down below the comment section, all right, for you to uh, download your certificate for winning tonight's online quiz game competition. Okay, I think once you click that link and then you'll be automatically uh, uh, land to our uh, website, that's igp.com, okay? And that's the page where you can actually download your e-verified certificate, all right? So I think uh, that's all what we have for uh, tonight. Okay, I've been saying that, sir, over and over again. Okay, 
So uh, we would like to bring this uh, segment to a close, all right? And of course, to you guys, we appreciate your keen interest in this webinar, despite of the unavailability of our uh, uh, invited speaker for tonight. Your time and effort is so much appreciated, all right? Thank you, all right? We hope that you will be joining us again tomorrow for another webinar session. Again, on behalf of the Institute of Global Professionals, all right, thank you for joining us tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow for another webinar series. This has been Gafur and Panimban saying, keep continue learning. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs>